Hey guys, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector. Welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. And as you can see, I'm here in my gallery. And today we're going to be doing a top 10 countdown of the greatest Joker statues ever created. Now we did a poll a number of years ago. There's a video on the channel. I'll link it up here below or up above or wherever it is. But today I want to talk about the top 10 greatest statues but they're in my collection. So I'm going to be counting down my favorite Joker statues today. I've got a lot of some of the best that has ever been produced by companies like Sideshow, Prime One, Queen Studios, and others, and I'm going to be counting them down today. So without further ado, let's start with number 10. All right, guys, so coming in at number 10 is the George Jimenez Joker. Now, I absolutely love the statue. So, uh, you know, just the fact that it is number 10 uh, you know, don't let that get you down because it's still an awesome kick butt statue. Obviously, there's a lot of really cool elements to the statue. There's a lot of cool swap outs and things like that. It's just that this is definitely a non-traditional Joker. So, you know, I think probably a lot of you could probably understand why this one would maybe not uh, rank as high as the more traditional Jokers. But it's still a very cool piece. Uh, this one is a uh, very limited run. And it's definitely not everybody's cup of tea, but I still think it looks scary. It's fun, um, even though uh, my <laughs> my wife calls this one the drag queen uh, joker. So <laughs> it is what it is, but it's still very cool. I love it. Terrifying. And uh, but yeah, number 10. Number nine on my list is, again, another George Jimenez piece. This one is the George Jimenez Joker. This one is awesome, and it really pairs up well, of course, with the punchline piece as it was designed. Um, this one was taken basically uh, by the art of Tony Daniels, and would you could see that cover right back there. So he was the original artist to design that, uh, that look anyway. Um, but... I love this piece. Um, again, this is definitely a more traditional Joker, um, for sure, but there are just other pieces that I like better in my collection. And again, I'm curious as to see if you're surprised uh, by the ranking of this one or not, but uh, it's still a very cool piece. Again, kind of cross-legged at the theater, but I, I do feel like Joker kind of takes a little second fiddle on this piece to punchline back there behind him. Coming in at number eight is going to be the Daniel Bell Joker. Um, this one is awesome. It's very scary. It's incredibly well painted. Um, it's got a lot of really cool elements with the crowbar back behind him, and it's got the really cool base with the skulls and the toxic sludge there, the batarangs. Just a lot of really fun elements to this one. Um, this one is a little bit more stylized. Um, dare I say cartoony at some times, um, but just kind of the way that the, the sculpt was done, the angular body. Um, I love this piece still, but it's, I, I just feel like there are other, um, even sideshow pieces that I like better uh, in terms of the Joker, but it's still a very cool piece. I'm still really glad it's part of my collection, but yep, that's where this one ranks. Okay, so for number seven, I'm going to cheat, okay? Uh, we have the Ledger Joker. This one is from Prime One Studio. Uh, has so many cool elements to it, bells and whistles, uh, just, you know, great. The sculpt is fun. I like it. It wasn't everybody's cup of tea, but I love the uh, the hair on him. Just looks absolutely fantastic, okay? So I the reason I said I'm cheating is because we're going to come over here, and I'm going to make this one a tie, okay? So I still love my Queen Studios one as well. Um, this one is from the jail cell scene. Um, absolutely love the paint effects on him. It's just really well done. So I still love the Queen Studios, but I can't pick a favorite. Um, I really like them both. They both have the rooted hair, or the, you know, the, the realistic hair. So we've got the Queen Studios, and then over here, the Prime One. I just really love them both. All right, so coming in at number six, this is an oldie but goodie. Um, and yes, it is a bust, but I still consider it a statue. Um, this is the Joker life-size bust. Um, it just still holds up. The sculpt is still really good. It's still incredibly creepy. Uh, I still am really glad that I have it as part of the collection. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming at some point it's just not going to work in here anymore, but I still think it's super well done. And so, I mean, look at the detail. Look at the teeth. It's so creepy. And again, it's just, I feel like it really does hold up, even those pieces, gosh, is it well over a decade old now? But it's vintage sideshow, and I still love it. 
All right, guys, it's time for the top five. And we're going to start off at number five with the tweeter head joker. This thing is absolutely incredible. This is the quarter scale piece. Uh, there's so many details to this. Um, it just is an awesome piece. And I don't think anybody will ever do something quite like this again. This was a very ballsy project from tweeter head. Again, so much detail, so many Easter eggs, but it's so good. Camera, Killing Joe camera on the side. So yeah, this is number five. I think it's awesome, it has so much presence to it. Uh, here you can see it right next to Sanity. So you can get to see the size of it. Um, just a really spectacular piece from Tweeter Head. I would like to see them do more like this. And coming in at number four is going to be my Heath Ledger life-size bust. Um, good Lord, this thing is just insane. It is definitely a showstopper. Um, the detail on him, the rooted hair, the silicone, it's just so well done. And, um, you know, it's just such a statement piece. I'm not really into the bus all that much, but there is no denying that this thing is just incredible. I know so many of you uh, love it here in the middle of the room. Uh, just so much detail. It's really just crazy, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, coming in at number four on the list. I know some of you probably thought it'd be a little higher, but that's where it is. Coming in at number three, again, this might surprise some of you, but this is the original OG Joker, sculpted by Martin Canale. Uh, it's just absolutely incredible. Uh, I do have a, uh, a custom fan-made crowbar, but I like it better than uh, what it came with. But I still feel like this is one of the best Joker sculpts of all time, obviously inspired by um, you know, Brian Boland's work with the uh, Killing Joke. It's definitely a nod. And this was a Sideshow's very first DC piece. I can't imagine me ever selling this one. Um, I, you know, the cut and sew, it doesn't necessarily hold up. I think the cut and sew would be definitely better today. But uh, never sold this one. It's just still awesome. I still love the way it looks. It's simple. You know, it's got the really cool, great base down below. Simple. It's just a simple piece, but yet still so effective. And again, it all comes down to that portrait just absolutely incredible. I love this piece. Coming in at number two, uh, some of you may have guessed this one, but this is the Libermejo Joker. Um, it's still just absolutely incredible. I love Libermejo's work. Um, and this, this just really captures his art so well. Of course, based on that cover right there. But uh, just, just awesome. I mean, it's just so well done. It really just goes to show like how maniacal he is. And again, you have all of these extra head sculpts here. Uh, a few extras over here. Of course, there's a little mini BSC. But uh, yeah, Libermejo Joker coming in at number two. Just an awesome freaking statue. All right, so did you get number one right? Make your guesses. My favorite Joker in the collection Joker, say cheese. Um, I absolutely love this statue. I've got a really bright light on it, so sorry about that. But uh, it's just a fantastic statue. And it's one that a lot of people kind of wrote off, I guess. Um, I, you know, I could still take or leave Robin being tied up. That's okay. But the, the gas is so cool. It's got the extra portraits that are just absolutely phen phenomenal. you got Jim Lee and uh, Jason Fabok there. But then, you know, you have my, I finally got my Hush Joker. And of course, I pair him up with Batman back there. But he's just so cool. And he's just, he has so much presence with the flag. Uh, great swap outs. And uh, I don't know, I just, I just love this statue. It just uh, completely sums up with, with the way Joker should look to me. And again, I love the swap outs. Just a really fantastic piece. So, yeah, that's my number one. Think there'll ever be a one? You think, you, yeah, do you guys think there'll ever be one that tops it? Can't wait to find out.
So there you guys have it, a look at my top 10 favorite Joker statues of all time. And of course, there are always going to be more Joker statues. So that might change. Maybe in a couple of years, I'll do another one of these videos and we'll count them down. But I would love for you to put down your favorite Joker statues. And maybe your favorite Joker statue wasn't on my list. Again, there's been a lot of really great statues over the years. So please let me know in the comments down below. Let me also know if you would like to see other characters explored, maybe Batman, a top 10 Batman or something like that. I don't think there's going to be a top 10 Mr. Freeze list because there's not very many statues, but we could definitely do Batman. So let me know if you'd be interested. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, join. If you haven't done so, I want to thank all of our members that have joined, um, become a Brotherhood of the Bat member. And if you're interested in that and all the details, hit the join button right down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the Bat Cave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, I have partnered up with Red Wolf Collectibles, maker of incredible comic book display options, including this outstanding, heavy duty, and well-made slab stand featuring an anti-slip pad and all the accessories needed to display your most prized slab comic books, just like this one here in my collection. And now they even have interchangeable 3D design plates that feature really strong magnets that let you easily swap out logos to match your comic books, slabs, or whatever superhero you want to feature in your display in an absolutely incredible way. And these are just some of the plates available for purchase from DC, Marvel, and much, much more. I mean, look at all of the options here. You can even have your own custom logo made. And they also offer magnetized comic book frames. You simply remove the front, place your comic book inside, and place the magnetized cover back on. It's that simple. It looks absolutely amazing and even features a built-in hook so you can display it on the wall. I mean, look how awesome this looks. Now, if you don't have a slab, you can also purchase their protective comic book cases, which feature high-quality metal corners and screws, and you can also pair this up with the display stands to give it that amazing slab look. Now, all of these are absolutely incredible, and make sure you use code STATUE at checkout for a discount at redwolfcollectibles.com. I'm so happy to be partnering with them because their products are absolutely amazing. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.